to everyone. It's your favorite streamer who always streams. Yo. It's been a minute, yep. What up from Tacoma? Let's go. We got some 253 in the house. What's good, Chris Savage? D Toro, Corn Cob. What's going on? <clears throat> Yo, Tam, Tam Shook. What's going on? The flesh, the flash tracks. <laughs> Not the flesh tracks, the flash tracks. What's up? What's going on? I'm here in my humble abode. Uh, just chilling. What's up, Jingoception? Next YouTube short film when? Oh man, ASAP. I need another idea. So I did come up with one idea for another video, which I'm really excited about. I think it'd be cool, but it, it's going to be an epic undertaking. It's probably going to take like two days and I need another actor. And I was thinking about like maybe getting my sister to do it, but yeah, I have one that's going to be epic. That's going to take a while. So I might not be able to do it for a minute, but um, I need to come up with like kind of more of a bite size idea, but that, that was so fun. Um, oh, we got Purdy in the chat. Wagwan uh, Delilah. Um, yeah, actually, I'm going to pull it up. If you guys haven't seen um, my little YouTube short, I'm going to watch it real quick. What's up with the polar bears? <laughs> Straight up. Um, yeah. I, uh, for those of you that don't know, outside of music, one of my favorite hobbies is, um, I don't know. I just like to call it camera shit. I like taking pictures. I like making videos really, really into it. So recently I just, I've always been like sitting around like, Oh, I wish I had something to shoot. Like, uh, I want to like do a project, you know, asking people, do you guys need a project done? Oh yeah, we'll let you know, you know, and there's just nothing. So uh, everybody that I, you know, follow and learn from on YouTube, they all say literally just fucking make something. Don't wait for something. Just make something. So I just decided to start writing stupid things to make just to have fun and, um, uh, like experiment and whatever. So this is the first installment of that basically. Um, my hell may hell. Hi. Nam Namtony123. Big fan from Korea. Woo! I love Korea. I just went there for the first time. So fun. Um. Oh, you just listened to this cave me in? That's great. Sweet. Okay, cool. So this here. Oops. I know I've got the chat thing in the in the way. This here is my little uh short film, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Literally a minute long. Um, display of me playing with my camera. So, it's a typical day as a music producer. This is on my YouTube, so come subscribe to the YouTube if you want to see other videos and tutorials like that. Yes, sir. Wasn't that just riveting? 
Don't you want to see more of that? Get in there, man. Get on the YouTube, man. What was actually playing on your phone in the, in the kitchen? <laughs> it was off. I was just, that was just my amazing, immaculate acting skill. <laughs> um, sweet. So, yeah, today, just going to do the usual suspect stream where I go through the Discord and, uh, and I go through what, you know, the samples you guys send me, and then I'll, I'll flip them. Um, and if you don't know the Discord, let's see if this thing still works. I go so long between streams that all of my shit gets broken. Okay, that actually worked. Um, do you think upgrading to 12 is worth it? Listen, 12 is fire. I like it. <clears throat> I don't know if it's, like, a huge upgrade. Well, I will tell you this. That's interesting that you bring that up because... Ableton just announced a big update for 12 today with a f with a built-in auto tune. Um, so it's on the beta, so I d I don't know if I like want to get it. I mean, I should try it. Um, but um, it's hard when you get on beta, then no one else uh, no one else. You can't send your project to anybody if they don't have beta, so that's why I haven't got it yet. But this they just announced this today, and you can get it if you have 12. Here's Auto Shift, which is their free auto tune. Ableton 10 is fire. I mean, honestly, there hasn't been a huge difference but since Ableton 10. I feel like from 9 to 10 was like kind of a big jump because there was the groups and groups and all that kind of stuff. Um, I believe that was in 10. But from 10 to 12, it hasn't been that crazy. So yeah, there's an auto tune. If this is decent, I mean that could be a game changer. I I don't know that it will be decent because I haven't really tried an auto tune that's as good as auto tune. I've tried the Melder one. I know that one's free, but the Waves one, and they all kind of suck. But we'll see. I mean, Ableton's fire, and they wouldn't release it if if it wasn't. I mean, it's got the format shift on it. Vibrato, okay, this shit might be cool. I should have downloaded this for this stream, but I don't know. I was like, ah, oh, beta, I don't know. Because every time I get beta, I'm like, oh, this is sick. And this was like, can you send me that project? I'm like, shit, I can't. Sub Nate, uh, J Patchy, is it better than Antares? I mean, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but I would guess that Antares is probably still the best, but Antares is a fucking headache because it's expensive, or if you use the UAD one, it'll use a ton of... um. Uh, DSP. They also did just release an auto tune for Spark where you don't use DSP. Um, so that was interesting. I just don't own it yet. Um, drum sampler. I don't know what I don't really use drum rack, so I don't know what this is. Just more. Oh, it's just a sampler inside a drum rack, so you can have more control over each sample. That's cool. I don't use it, but. Oh, they updated the limiter. That's cool. This is really cool. See more shit. Sound and appearance. Hmm. Oh, I heard they put... The, yeah, they put soft clip. So now there's a soft clip built in. Honestly, this update could be fucking sick. Updated saturator. Okay. Filter and select menu notes. I, see, this is another thing in, in 11 and 12 that I, I wanted for so long, but by the time it came out, I had already, like, switched up my workflow where you could set scales and things and, like, have more MIDI control. So that's all in here. Um, honestly, I just need to dive in to uh, to some of the shit I don't, I don't use. I mean, this shit is looking more and more like Bitwig, which is cool. Um, but, yeah, it's just hard for me, an old man... Um, to switch up my workflow um, when I'm just like so busy working on projects I have to it's like I don't really have time to like I don't know go just learn shit I mean that sounds stupid but um, I do want to dedicate there's two things that I want to dedicate a whole day to learning one is is all the cool new Ableton shit and two is the inner workings of both of my pedals I use mood and um, generation loss a lot from Chase Bliss, but I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally just like 
knob turning, which is fire to an extent, but um, I would love to get a deeper understanding of those, but it's going to take a day. It's like everything else I've in here I've learned, like the Juno and the DX7, I had to like spend a day doing it. So that's just one of those things. Um, real curious about the chord shapes feature. Yeah, see, it's like stuff like that I really want to learn because I'm sure they could um, inspire shit I wouldn't normally do. Tons of bug fixes, little improvements. Cool. Maybe I will try the beta. I wonder if I could still, because back in the day, you could get the beta and it would be a separate program. So you could still do all your work in like the the one with the most compatibility and you could try the beta. Um, so I may do that. I reckon one day you should just stream you doing the daily spottle. <laughs> yeah, if you're down with spoilers. Um yeah, I've I've been doing it every night. Um and uh yeah, it's I haven't missed one in a while. I did miss the David Bowie one. I just couldn't think of a solo was it pop guy from UK in that came out in the sixties or whatever. I was like, who? Um and then it was like, Oh yes, of course, David Bowie. Uh but okay. So I was going to say, before we get into, you know, flipping stuff that you guys are sending me, once again, join the Discord Discord if you want to do that. Um, I wanted to go over my latest remix because I don't really do, I don't release a lot these days and don't really do a ton of remixes or my own shit as much as I used to. But this one um, was was for the homies and uh, the homie um, Smiley, Smile High. And um, I really wanted to be involved in that project, so I did it. And I like the way it came out, so I was going to check, um, play it for you guys and kind of break it down. Stream of video, photography, editing such. I mean, I'd be down for that. Uh, I've been asked that a couple times, not a ton, uh, but a couple times. Uh, but it is funny, because anytime I do anything else, my chat is just, when are you going to make a beat? So maybe I will, but... It'd be tight if I was like a little bit more consistent with the streaming so I could be like on Monday, Tuesday, da, 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 do music. And then on Friday, I do something random like Overwatch or editing or fucking whatever. But uh, the thing is, is it's hard to balance streaming with work for me. A lot of uh, people that are really consistent on streaming, like they love streaming. And like that's part of like what they want to do is be a streamer. And to me, streaming is just a nice addition to the music stuff but music stuff is still number one for me the mer the work i'm doing so that always takes precedent so that's why sometimes it goes months i go months without streaming and it's not because of any other reason or i'm trying to diss y'all or whatever but um i'm not as passionate about streaming as i is and my music streaming is just a way to showcase music what i'm passionate about that's why it's difficult for me to be consistent with any of this stuff uh streaming youtube um because when the workload gets big, I have to tackle that. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I'm too tired to do anything. So, I, yeah. But anyways, that's my rant and complaint. Man, this is a fucking annoying. I need to fix this. Okay. Um, sweet. Okay, Jingo sent me some samples. Okay, cool. We'll get into that in a little second. Let's, uh... Let's check this uh, remix out real quick. You know, if you guys haven't heard it, I'm going to play it real quick. This is uh, for the homie uh, Smile High. And this is a song he did called um, All For You um, with uh, let's see Felly and Somebody else, I can't remember. I'm sorry, I'm blanking on the name right now. All right, so that's the remix. Um, and yeah, it's just a short little thing, two sections. Da -da -da -da. Um, I was remixing for me can be a little bit stressful because uh, I always want to do something, I want to push it pretty hard. So it's usually hard for me to just like do a little beat and call it good or whatever. So just to show you like a little bit of the. Um, process is lately so i make a ton of samples um i make loops i use them for beats i send them out to producers um uh, and they're good starts but i'll just make samples all the time so with remixing lately i have 
started with some of sa- some sample ideas that I've started and I've and I'll put them under the the new acapella and you know I'll try like 15 of them you know like so many different ones and I'll try to like live with it and like is this is this the direction so this sample some of you if you're OGs might recognize because I actually made this sample on stream um and I made a beat out of it and the beat was fire and I put like a her sample on it but um I couldn't get anyone to take the beat no one was interested in the beat um, I set the sample out. Pretty much nobody flipped it. So it just has been sitting on my hard drive for years. So I was like, I like this. I want, I want to use it for something. So I scrapped the other idea and used it for this remix. So this is where it started. And if you want to see how I made this, I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube somewhere. Um, uh, you know, it's, these, it's, it's the process where I start really, really slow and write a whole thing and then speed it up and whatever. So you got these little harp things and then um, arcade. I've heard this so many fucking times, it's like burning my brain. So so we start there. Um, and then once, once I've decided that that's kind of the, the one, I'll start like just building out like the groove or whatever. What what am I doing here with I'm like being so particular about <laughs> So that's the loop I guess. I guess it makes a difference. Um Yeah, I'll do I'll do yeah, I'll send producers I'll send samples to to multiple producers, but I just make it abundantly clear that um a lot of people have the sample. So I'm like, if you're using it, something's moving, tell me immediately. Cause I'll shut it down. You know what I mean? Uh, with other people. Um, and I haven't really gotten into too much trouble yet, but it's, it's tough. Unless you have that relationship with uh, relationship with the producer where they're definitely using something and they usually do or whatever. Um, then, um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I send it to multiple people because you never know who's actually going to use it or where it's going to go. So. So this first part is just a little, you know, hip hop. Uh, thing. Cool. So then I wanted to do a switch up different sections. So I decided to try to do this. Like I've been really inspired by like these. The MD type of sound you know when they do like over the top shit for for live or whatever um so i kind of wanted to go into something like that um it's like a little church break or whatever so we need a little bit of a of a transition so that's what this section is this 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 takes me a second usually because um you know you want it to be interesting you want it to move and you want it to feel like the the <coughs> The energy is building, but you don't want it to come off too EDM-y. So you do have like little mo little little m uh sorry elements. God, I can't talk of uh, EDM shit. Um, but then you want to like keep it, you know, hip hop or whatever. I think like a master of this is Maxwell, the producer Maxwell. He does that shit so good. He has like little build ups with, you know, trap snares, but they all they always sound really. Um, in the, the vibe of the song. So <clears throat> I hear the high low sample from that Palisade song on different projects. Oh, I don't know. What high low sample? Hit him with the high and the low. Yeah, I don't know. Um so, uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah. So this is the climb here. Um Yeah. I start with like I mean, I love it. I love the feeling of a scene change, and that's a real easy way to do that is put some like background ASMR stuff. So the rain comes in there. Um, using the Poltec to boost the 16K. 
because Pultec is amazing for that. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's see. To our, our fill. Um, one thing I love to do on top too, this comes from like old school, like I love that I love this um kind of vibe from like old school electronic music where it's a super long delay. Um so that's where like these vocals come in. Um and I'll just do it um, manually a lot of times if I want it that long. I don't want to fight with like delay time and compression and stuff. Just just make it. So I, I have this kind of like fake delay that's just like going on forever. And I have the, uh, the, the filter closing. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's get into the, the church break. Um, and uh, let's see. So I'm going to meet these vocals again, actually. So this this uh, first started with the, the the hits, and this is all based off of this this uh, addictive drums um, kit that I made. Uh, well, I I would say I edited it. it. It came. It's mainly from the Don'tcha kit, I think. Um, oh no, you got me. And then I like replaced a bunch of the um, the drums and stuff. So I kind of I kind of wrote these these hits based off of the, the chords in the based off of the chords in the um, the main sample just arranged them differently and, and then into the main groove one thing I hate about addictive to be honest is I really don't love the symbols or the hats so that's where um, I'll come in and I'll just play it I've got a drum set over here um, that's mic'd up um, it's mic'd up decently, but I just go and I just actually play my own hi-hats because it just sounds better. It's better than like clicking a bunch of shit in. Um, and then these sample, these are crash samples that I'm layering that are at my actual crashes. Um, and these ones, the butt face crash and the gospel cra crash are in my sample packs. So anyone can use them. Um, but those are like actual crashes that I recorded that I think sound better. And then these are kind of some newer crashes that I've got that I that I um, recorded as well. <clears throat> um, oh, and then I'm actually choking and doing like the the hits here on the crashes. Um, how much are my sample packs? I try to keep them on the cheaper end. Uh, they range from like eighteen to twenty five dollars. Um, I know that we're in the, the age of like $50 sample packs, like drum packs with like 90% 808 drums in it. And that's not what you're going to find here. Everything I do is, is, is completely original. Or if the first thing I started was with just my guitar, which is, um, just like this strap behind me. What's oops and oh no? Was it one of those mean something wrong with the stream or something? Um, okay. Uh, then, um, okay, so this, this is a, uh, oh, what happened? Just disconnect 10 seconds. What are you talking about? Is there some, is there an issue with the stream? Do I need to fix something? EMP went off.
Are we good? Are we back? Is my stream fucked up? Okay, cool. <clears throat> Sorry, because sometimes... Oh, froze for like 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, and it says I have zero viewers. Yeah, something fucked up. Cool. Um, all right, we're back. Okay, cool. Sorry. So I was talking about the layers of the hits here in the chords to try to make them sound like a band, try to make them sound live. The first thing I started with was, was this guitar here, which is um, my strat here in the back. Um, and to, obviously, I had to punch because I'm not a great guitar player. Um, that's the little riff. Cool. So once we got that, I, I, I've made the mistake in the past of like starting with synths and stuff to make when I want things to sound like a band. And if you listen to like people that are really good at this, like main condition or whatever, it, they're playing real instruments. So start with those and it'll start to build, you'll start to build a, a basis of, um, like that sound of like what a band sounds like way faster. And then you can layer, go in and layer with synths. So that's where I'm like, okay, let me start with the guitar. Let me start with the piano. Organ. This is the, the B3 from Arteria. It is okay. Everything on Arteria, everything Arteria makes is beautiful, looks beautiful, has like a couple cool things, but it, it just always falls a little bit short to me. Um, but, you know, it's the best one I got. So we're going to rock with that. If you guys know better B3 um, plugins, um, please let me know. I know that Native Instruments used to have this one called like B4 or whatever. And that shit was, was awesome. Um, the V collection. Yeah, you know, some of it's cool. Some of it annoys me. Some of the, the V collection is great. The really raw, like, DX7 sounds, to me, are really accurate. That's really cool. Um, but then I also hate where, like, they just... Everything loads with crazy effects. Like, when you load the Mellotron, it's got, like, delays and stuff. It's like, bro, I don't want this. I'm looking for an old-school sound. I don't want a bunch of modern delay and, like, plate reverb on it. Um, okay. IK multimedia one? Okay. And the UAD. I'll try that. Hello, nice producer. Okay, so I am lucky enough to um, own a piano. It took me years to, to get one, but I, I finally got one. So this has, this has literally been um, like the most leveled up my studio ever got was, was getting a real piano. Um, so that's what this layer is. I love this piano so much. I use it on everything. Love that riff that was like just a random bass riff i had in the original sample um and i'm just layering it with everything that is a dx7 that was on accident i had the midi sending out i was trying to get to the juno and it went to the dx7 and had that loaded up i was like oh that's kind of cool so um i layered that it's on everything and then even more guitars um distorted and those are all coming from my uh jazz chorus 40 which is an amazing amp amazing solid state amp it's like the shoegaze machine um and um yeah it sounds awesome so uh let's see has the new piano inspired you to practice more on your on your actual piano playing so that was <laughs> the idea um and uh, I haven't really entered a regiment yet because right when I got the piano, sort of, um, my brother asked me to go on tour with him and play drums for him. So I was immediately into like drum practice mode, um, you know, because I play drums, play piano, play guitar. I'm not amazing at any of them, but I can get around on all of them a little bit, uh, a little bit more than others. Um, but when I really lock in and focus on one and practice, that's kind of like all I do. That's the only thing I'll practice. Um, so I'm actually approaching my piano practicing era, era soon. I just reinstated my, um, master class. So I'm going to watch the Herbie one and kind of like 
work through that. Okay, one second. Let's see here. <clears throat> um, cool. So let's go, let's keep going down the layers here. Uh, actually, let's see one second. So going down the layers, we got Juno as the name suggests. So I use that kind of main one one um, uh, preset from Juno a lot where I kind of like mess with that. So that's just kind of like the first Juno uh preset that I've kind of messed with a little bit and then uh this is just I was just in the moment like producing like in my flow state da, 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 da. and I was just like oh I need a uh like I need like a like the MD like shouting so I've got this vocal mic behind me and I just hit record and was standing here and then just did that little like uh. <laughs> and I think I did mess with it a little bit yeah I just put it up but it's just in the background there And then the bass. So what I've been doing for bass, real bass, is my my brother. He's he's sponsored by a bass company. Sponsored by um, Spectre's got like a signature with them, etc. And he'll let me borrow slash keep a lot of those. Um, and they they're sick, but they have like that a Spectre sound. A lot of times, I want more of like the P bass sound. And I don't own a P bass yet. I nor can I really play bass. So what I've been doing is. Um, I've been playing uh, my uh, Strat. I'll play the bass line, and then I'll pitch it down, put it through a bass amp. And um, that is uh, that sounds great. It's really convincing. I mean, it's not totally a P bass, but it gets their, the job pretty close. Um, all that to say, I just realized that I explained all that, and that's not what I did here. This is from the original sample, which I think is Rick and Bacher. No, it's a trillion. Sweet. So I just gave you the bass tip for free, but it's all this shit. Oh, that's from the original sample. Cool. So let's just hear this through. I gotta try Roar. I haven't tried Roar yet. Honestly, the drums were the funnest part to do. I mean, I'm, I'm just doing like a lot of different fills and stuff from Addictive. It sounds so good. Um, and, you know, I'm mixing them. I'm sending them all out so I can mix them and get them like punchy. Um, so, yeah, this this is a... <laughs> Yeah, this is my little little church section, and I wanted just everybody to just be going off, so that's why there's tons of fills, things like that. And then we get back into the <clears throat> the hits. I will be doing a video where I'm playing all these fills and drums uh, on a real drum kit for a video, a social video. Um, and I just showed you that they're fake, so when you see that, mind your business. Um, but let's get into these. Yeah, so... Um, it, it is addictive drums, um, and the, the the kit is this modern, uh, what is it called? Uh, modern soul R and B. You got me. Uh, but then I did mess with these individual elements a lot. You know, I think this is the different snare and ha I don't know what I did to be honest, but it started with that that kit. little drums in that I don't think sound good in um <clears throat> in the addictive so you know the, the ride cymbals and things like that um yeah definitely if you want to mix the drums like for real definitely route them out of addictive and and put them on different things 
So, you know, um, I've got everything routed here. So, you know, my kick, it's, it's just the saturator, able to saturator with some EQ, um, snare, saturator, a little bit of transient master. I want it, I wanted it pokey, but not too pokey. So that's why I like have the saturation on it. Um, hi hat. I'm not using a ton. I don't think because I don't think it sounds good. Um, the room, uh, which I, I just have the overheads and um, the room bust and they're not even, there's no processing on it. It just sounds good from the thing. And then Tom's, I think the main thing with Tom's is, is the EQ. So yeah. And then, and then I took the sustain down a lot on the actual kit. Um, Um, sorry, cam in the way. My bad. I don't know what you guys didn't see. Uh, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I, I took the sustain down of the, of the toms <clears throat> and the actual kit, uh, a lot. To, so they were like really punchy and they didn't ring a bunch. Um, yeah. And it's just like a lot of EQ. And then I've got my crashes that I was saying earlier that I just recorded from my, myself here. And then, you know, my, my real, um, my real hat that I recorded myself. And then altogether, you've got this, uh, this kind of smorgasbord. Pretty convincing. sick cool and then other little elements that I, I love to do to make things feel like a band is this is definitely my favorite fucking part is i love when like gospel um bass players will do just the like the tap so i've got the i've got these things going on and i got these from trillion um and i just feel like that sounds so cool I, no one would ever notice it but in my head i'm like oh that part's so sick right here And then of course the Prince Juno with the, I've got the Juno here and I just use, I think the first preset again, and then just up the, the LFO. So we've got these moments. It just makes it feel alive. You know, if you just got these moments of little pieces, the scratch hello, that's where, that's where my entire, um, musical journey began is I got into scratching. That was like the first thing that I like really got into and I never do it. But lately, I've been bringing it back. I got my turntable set up here. So blessed to have moved into this crib recently, where I actually have room for all my, like, things. Turntables are collecting dust for years in cases, ever since I left issues or whatever. Um, but I bust them back out, and I'm having fun, like, putting actual scratching into shit again. And I did try some talk box, but it was trash, so I did not use that. Okay. Well, that is that. Um, thanks for coming to my TED talk about my remix thing. You know, I spent a lot of time on. So yeah, I hope you guys like it or whatever. Um, let's, let's do some, let's do some music. Let's, let's flip some stuff. Um, I'm gonna go through the discord, uh, and, uh, go through, go through some of the stuff you guys sent. Um, uh, let's see. Ever thought about playing for an instrument? I'd be down. I'd be down to try it. I know the Count does that a lot. Always looking for random shit. Um, and he uses it really well. Like, that's one cool thing. Um, is he's not just doing it for the novelty of it. He'll make a fucking hard beat out of it. That's so cool. Did I get this one already? Let me see where I started. Um... I need to, uh, I need to, uh, clean out my downloads again. I hate it so much. It's my least favorite part of everything. Uh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Twitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, I do. I do have that one. Let's go through it here. This is cool. I did that one. Did that one. That one's so cool. I already can tell that's gel. There's so much musical information in that one that's low key like I would just be doing some drums on this. Which could be cool. I'm trying to think about I love this one. I just want to do it justice. We could try it. I may fail. I would love I would love the drums to be super hard but also unique. Um This is uh harmless's. Um, oh, the vital preset. I, I downloaded the presets. I actually just haven't, um, I haven't got vital yet. I need to do that. Maybe I'll do that today. Thanks for the reminder. Sorry for the delay. Um, I hope this email finds you well. Uh, okay, cool. You still watching the DMC videos? Yeah, dude, it's cool. I love watching that shit. Uh, I, there's there's a lot of like dope ass producers that are like doing cool shit that started as DMC people, um, like Cashmere Cat. Um, who's the guy that went viral for? Hudmo Hudson Mohawk. He was a DMC guy. I always think that's cool. Obviously, a track. Even though he doesn't like really produce like that, like that. I think he's you know did Duck Sauce, but. Um. Yeah, and then Craze. Choni misses you, bro. Tengu Wolves. Choni. Aaron. Um. Okay, let's get let's find some drugs for this. Oh shit! What's up, Aaron? Uh Oh, that's cool. Loki, that could be trashy and cool. It's kind of cool. I may I may hate it in 10 minutes, but let's try it. Um what were you doing in Korea? I was doing K-pop stuff. I went to all the big K-pop uh I went to all the big K-pop labels, Hive, SM, JYP. I know that's publishing, but um, yeah, just K-pop. And it was awesome. I, I couldn't believe how good that trip was, to be honest. Like, everybody there was so cool and nice and, like, kind of already familiar with my shit, which is not a common thing for me. I'm usually going into situations where I've got to, like, assimilate and learn about how they want to make the music, you know, I'll do sessions where I'm like, okay, I definitely am not the expert here. Um, but Korea was very different. It, they kind of already liked everything that I do naturally. So it was just a natural fun experience. Make music there. Uh, yes. Moralify. Can I send you a Devin Morrison type beat idea? Yeah, please. Please, please, please. kind of cool cool so if you guys oops let's go yeah let's do twitch um cave explorers um if you guys don't know my process with with the drums i guess i'll try to talk about stuff when i'm doing it so 
I like the tones of these drums, but they don't hit right. So that, that's what I got to do for this this snare. I'm going to experiment and I'm going to go down the rabbit hole of trying to get this to slap harder and to see if I still love it. So first of all, it was a little bit too low and thuddy, so I, I pitched it up a bit. Um, without warping, or did I? Maybe I did warp it. Oh, I don't know. Can't remember. So take out some of that smack. I mean, that, that low end. Take out some of this ugly 4K shit. Not a ton of it, though. Uh, maybe a little bit of saturation. Getting cool. That's getting slappy. Maybe it'll take a little bit of sustain out. I could tell I'm fucking with it how it sounds, but I could tell that I'm gonna need to put that kick in to see if if I if I like how it's hitting. So I need some high end. My favorite high end ever is the Poltec, either Poltec. I don't really know the differences. Um, but this 16k in the Poltec sounds better than any 16k anywhere else. Pro Q, whatever. Um, it just adds this like cool like old school magical high end to it. And if I try it here. I mean, that's supposed to be 16, right? I can't even hear it there. On here, that's just, I don't know what it's doing. It's just some shit. This on vocals too, on your master bus, on your vocals, amazing, bro. Cool. This is kind of cool. Yep, yep. Cool. I always use Graves kicks. I wonder if there's if I could do something else today. Um yeah, maybe a maybe a maybe a um ill mind kick. Oh, that kind of sounds sick. Loki, I just like, I like the top. I wonder if I could layer that with like uh, something with with more with more thump to it. Let's see. Um. Oh, I like that too. Uh, it might be too big, but I do like it. Or I could just stop fighting with shit and just go to my normal shit. Let's just see. See if I still love this top. I love I love the way that sounds. If I can make that work. checked out the no worries shit it's always amazing
more punch. I don't know. This is just a, this is just one path you could go with these drums. Kind of like the the like acousticy, you know, trashy boom bap. Honestly, I love the I love the decay. So. Let's try to distort these a little bit. I know they're already distorted to fuck, but let me just try a soft limit on it. I love this plugin. Um, I've been using this one a lot. just see because I kind of want to take off some of the high end of the kick because it's all distorted now. in there. Oh no. Oh, it's in there. Yep. So, hmm. Is there a quicker way to do this? I hate menu diving for that shit. right now but do I care not really that just sounds cool I don't know. <laughs> Curry, uh, acapella, maybe. Guess who coming out? Whoa. Guess who coming out? Whoa. 
Guess who coming out, boy? Coming out the south, boy. Curry known to spit like a Draco. Now, boy, I'm the only nigga that is fresher than an Altoy. Everything I drop don't be hard. That's an asteroid. I could be an asshole. Assy McGee is actually me. Never trust a bitch. Adam ain't never come out of Eve. You can suck a dick. I'm about to get my nuts out and leave. On to other shit. Calling up the mothership. Parliament, pardon me. I departed with my scholarship. Part of a lion, niggas be lying to be hard as shit. Watching them fall off is like a bitch. This is the difficult situation I find myself in. Um, where I feel like there should be cool, like some cool old school verb on that snare. But it is so hard to get right. But we'll, we'll try it. The way that I like to approach it is I try to use what I, uh, like what they would use back in the day, you know? Because like the Shook Ones beat, for example, you know, that snare has reverb on it from the original sample. It's like, what did they use in that studio? This probably something like an EMT. So let's, let's throw the EMT on. And you want it to be subtle because um, that sounds just horrendous. So let's try something. Um, let's see what they got here. Snare verb. There's a lot of high end on it, which I don't love, but let's see. Out, boy, coming out the south, boy. Curry known to speak like a Drake, though. Now, boy, I'm the only nigga that is fresher than a out, boy. Is this the length? I like that. I like that. What else is there on here? So what is this? Cool. That's more the vibe. And then what is this? Oh. Oh, that's the high end. This is fucking cool. I'm learning how to use the EMT in front of all y'all. That's tight. That's more what I'm thinking. Now, boy, coming out the south, boy. Curry known to spit like a Drake, though. Now, boy, I'm the only nigga that is fresher than an Altoy. And actually, I think we could boost a little bit of the this. Let's see. Spit like a Drake, though. Now, boy, I'm the only nigga that is fresher than an Altoy. Everything I drop, don't be hard. That's an asteroid. I could be an asshole. Assy McGee is actually me. Never trust a bitch. Adam ain't never come out of Eve. You can suck a dick. I'm about to get my nuts out and leave. On to other shit. Calling up the mothership. Parliament, pardon me. I departed with my scholarship. Part of a lion, niggas be lying to be hard as shit. Watching them fall off is like a victim of a starter kick. Sit back and feel it. And while these other niggas politics. Politician, bitch, I'm pocket picking. Cause my body's busy. Try to diss me like you never heard that verse. Then I'm Chrissy. Yeah, I'm a Gucci. I killed that shit like I was Gucci. Never been Gucci, the only reason you salute me. Guess who coming out, boy? Coming out the south, boy. Curry known to spit like a Drake, though. Mouth boy, I'm the only nigga that is pressure. That's pretty cool. Sick. All right, let's try another one. Um, you guys got some new shit in here. Let me go through some of these here. So cool. Ugh. I love it with your drums, to be honest. This is Moralify. Okay, so I don't really want to flip that because I like your drums. Um, and I was going to do something similar, but these, this is better than what I would do. So what we're going to do is we're going to listen to it.
Sharks over these changes. because I've reset live recently. Um, uh, I can already tell it's out of tune. I'm using the, the Behringer... Um, Model D and shit is always out of tune. Yo, thanks for the sub, Jingoception. Appreciate that. Um, what's with that delay, bro? Um, yeah. And then where am I at? Five twelve should be good, but it's also this too. Fucking Pro L. Yeah, let's see. Those changes are hard, but there you go. There's a little talk box mess about, um, but sick job. I wish I had a soundboard. I used to have like sort of a de facto soundboard in my discord, but um, I wish I uh, could do an applause sample. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's flip something. So um, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. What do we get? That's cool. Downloading, downloading. Sick. I already know exactly how I'd flip that one. Uh, I'd do some indie ass drums on that. Uh, yo, thanks for the sub. Or, uh, or I can never know how to say your name. I'm sorry. Um, Ty, I love the new releases with Kalen. How did we meet? We met on Zoom because we got put into a couple sessions. I think I was already aware of Kalen because I had his kits and SoundCloud back in the day. Um, they, yeah, and then he started blowing up, obviously. But, um, but then, I, you know, I do a lot of sessions and work with other artists. So he got brought into some of those with me and, and we just hit it off. And a lot of the times we were like working to make a song for a different artist. They ended up didn't use it. So it just ended up on Kayla's album and then he finished it. That's a good loop. That, that'd be good for a session. Actually, a lot of artists would like that. I know we tried it, but it, but it, but it, but it. You know what I'm saying? Some indie ass rapper. Those are great loops and very current for what is happening in the uh, in those um, artist space right now. Okay, Purdy's got some. Okay, I'll get.
Super cool. That's fucking dope. Downloading that. I'm just gonna download all these and then go move on to pretty shit. Ooh, that sounds like Outer Wilds. You got some crazy sound design, brother. Um. Yeah, that's insane. That sounds really good. Um. Cool, cool. Um. Sick, pretty loop there. Downloading that. Ooh, some gel shit. Big fan of gel over here on this channel. Downloading all these. That's great. Okay, cool. Uh, I actually have to be right back because my brother's here. So um, I'll be right back, gentlemen. I'll play this, ladies and gentlemen. This is dope. Okay. All right. All right. There's my brother, everybody. Say hi. Say hi to Sky. Yeah. He said, "Yeah." Somebody said, "Hey yo, hey yo." Um, my brother's here. We're working on some music. I don't know if you guys are aware of his music. I'm gonna put it in the chat. Check out Skylar Record. Um, yeah, he's got his own music. We do music together for other people. Um, but yeah, working on some stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, flip one more um, thing. Um, and then unfortunately I gotta I gotta bounce, but I will be on tomorrow. I'm gonna do the rest of these. Um. Yeah, sorry for the short stream today. I just had like a minute, and I just kind of wanted to tap back in, you know what I mean? Um, okay. Let's see. I kind of liked this one because it's just so weird. I'm in a weird mood today.
Um, I did a cover a long time ago, and I wore a wig like Ty trying to play along to King of Ramarillo. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> said this was bounce. Yeah, I could try a bounce thing. I feel like when I try to make bounce, I feel like the boomer, like, you know, the hello fellow kids with the skateboard, like, um, that's how I feel because I'm so old and bad at bounce. But I like the idea of being good at bounce, so I can <laughs> let's try it. ADHD, yeah, exactly. There's just something about bounce that like I haven't cracked the code yet. Everything that I've tried is just stupid. It just sounds dumb. Um, but let me start here. Let me go to this Wallsy pack. Um, that'll help me get in the right. Um, ballpark, I think. Dude, okay. You know what's so funny about um this pack really quick? No no diss to Walsey because I think he's tight and he's a young younger guy, whatever. I think he's he's sick. Um and I actually like uh I actually find this really flattering, but basically when you download his pack, he's got, um, this disclaimer that says, uh, these, these are, these are my sounds, you know, use the pack, but don't take these sounds and put them in your own pack. Cause that's just cringe. Don't steal my sounds basically. Um, which I'm like, cool. Uh, but then I'm going through his one shots here. This is from my pack. <laughs> This is from my pack. <laughs> he took my he took my sound, which I I find it's incredibly validating because I'm like this younger producer thinks my shit's cool. So thank you for thinking my shit's cool, but I just think it's funny. Um, but yeah, anyways, so. Send you some other stuff later. That's good for bounce. Yes, please. Help me, the boomer. That should be my next Twitch uh, series. Help me, the boomer, understand how to make bounce. Okay. I want to be neighbor. You know what I mean? I want to be my millier, bro. Like, help me understand it. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm I'm about to open I'm about to open these uh yeah, the track controls and yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I already know. A lot of kick fills, okay. And it's like the hat's not really like constant, is it? It's like, uh, oops, I always do that. Is it like more like kind of like sporadic? Every side snare imaginable, okay.
Another little fill there. Tune in. Millennial tries to understand cool kids music. Wanted to be faster than that. triplet rhythm fills percussion for extra fills every okay what is a side snare like how do you use a side snare just like the cat cat to you know uh let's go back to the wallsy because he has got a whole side snare um This one do the because you guys said triplet. This one let's do. Um. Yep. Do cuts on the samples to add. Yeah, you're right. That's what neighbors really good at. Um. snare there yeah. uh other every other snare hit okay what is bounce? Hmm. What? Tr trying to think of the quintessential bounce song. I don't know. Huh? No, not New Orleans bounce. See, you're a boomer like me. Bounce is is a SoundCloud. Uh, it's it's a it's like a genre that's popular on SoundCloud. Basically, just super 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 swung drums. Um. 
really chopped up samples, really musical, to be honest, but hard as fuck, like supposed to be super hard. Um, but just like very, very loose, crazy, loose drums. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Knucklehead. 22 months <laughs> streak. He said, wait, <laughs> um, knock box. Okay, cool. Let me, let me, okay. Let me, let me do all the, the things you're telling me. You guys are telling me. So let's, let's start layer every other snare with a bigger snare. Okay. So let's try that real quick. snare okay in the wazzy kit oh cool so this on every other snare or Also, I noticed a lot of times bounce like skips the one. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. computer um the more swung stuff sounds the deep sounds the deeper the pocket yeah at least it mounts again yeah i wonder if some of these i need to even push more pretty cool i want to continue to learn this and get backseat game by you guys because this is fun because i don't i don't really understand this totally and i've tried to do it a few times and i failed but um this is fun because you guys have really good ideas about it so maybe we'll do that tomorrow when i get on maybe send me some stuff some samples or whatever you think hey this could be a bounce joint uh, which is funny because real bounce producers can they can like kind of sample anything um and make it sound like that um so uh yeah okay well this was a fun stream i, I unfortunately have to bounce um but i will be back, back on again soon and um i appreciate you guys uh joining and if you're if you're not um join the discord um and i'm gonna plug like a couple things one my sample packs i talked about them earlier they're on my website lowfile.co um and um also if you join the discord you can sign up to do lessons with me i do production lessons we'll do an hour i just get on the cam like this listen to your shit go over what you guys want to talk about they're 100 bucks they're an hour long and i give you you know everything nothing's off limits to ask me about so um yeah if that's interesting to you check that out um all right well that's it everybody have a great day thanks for watching
Um, <clears throat> and I hope to see you guys soon. Peace. Oops, wrong one. What's what's the leave one? Okay, I gotta fix that. <laughs>